hot flashes, power surges, or personal summer. We have nicknames to play off the symptoms of menopause, and believe it or not, andropause. But how do we really know how to keep them at bay? Here with some ways to determine what's behind your heat wave and how to cool it off is Dr. Jenny Wilkins, also known as Dr. Jenny from Age Vital Pharmacy. Hi. Hi, Nancy. How are you today? Good. Welcome to our first show. I'm so glad that you're going to be with us all 13 weeks. And I'm we have a lot so to talk about. I know. So many women and men yes. are going to find answers to questions they're most embarrassed to talk about. There we go. And of course, <laughs> menopause is not one of the things that anybody likes to talk about. But we're going to start with that today and see how we can help our viewers. Yeah, and menopause. Menopause is uh, when a woman's menses pauses, meaning Meaning there's no more of these sex hormones that are regulating temperature and this is where all of the side effects come from the side effects of having uh, insomnia or you're losing your hair and then this hot flash where women get hot and then they're cold and they're hot and they're cold I have some women that come to my facilities Nancy and they say in the middle of the night they wake up in a pool of their sweat and they're like what is going on and how can my body be doing this mm -hmm. like help me please I can't live like this or they're in a meeting and all of a sudden they start turning red and they get flushed and flustered and you know it's almost like this heart palpitative type of thing it's not just the Florida heat because yeah. I'm having a hot flash just you know coming here today with that Florida <laughs> Sun but it's a it's an actual uh, temperature thing so what in our body is regulating our temperature our metabolism so once women go through menopause your estrogen goes through the roof your progesterone starts to drop so when you have this um, uh, lack of homeostasis meaning a lack of uh, hormones being imbalanced your hormones start to drop slowly and with that things bad things start to happen so it's typically linked to estrogen dominance and here in this toxic country I mean we have xenoestrogens phytoestrogens think of estrogen as like you need a small amount of estrogen to protect your heart but you don't need all of this abundance of estrogen that we're getting in our environment from our plastics from our tap water believe it or not our tap water has all these molecules so when you're drinking tap water I tell women number one you know make lifestyle choices look at what you're drinking look at what you're eating and then avoid you know these key factors so I tell people avoid you know certain prescription drugs because they're loaded with synthetic hormones for example that's gonna mess up you know the ovarian cycle your natural cycle so and what if you're given these by a doctor how, how do you how do you change obviously we come see you but I mean what should they do they can't just stop taking their medication right this is when they have to, uh, they start to advocate for themselves when the patient becomes their own healthcare advocate and mm -hmm. I love empowering the consumer saying okay I am not you know uh, Premarin deficient when women are going through menopause doctors want to give them this Premarin pill right. and Premarin is derived from a pregnant horse's urine that's disgusting yeah. why would we be why? prescribed that or they're given armor thyroid and armor thyroid is derived from pig it's like we are not animals doctors yeah. we're not pigs we're not cows we're not horses why are you giving these supplements that have a longer list of side effects and benefits that's when the customer goes to their doctor and saying, you know what, I don't need this. Give me something that's biochemically identical to what mm -hmm. is naturally supposed to be in my body. Mm -hmm. And what are those chemicals? Chemicals like, chemicals like progesterone, for example, and the doctor can test for progesterone deficiency. They never test for Premarin deficiency or armored thyroid deficiency or birth control deficiency. Young women out there taking birth control, did your doctor ever text, right. test no. you to see if you're ortho tricycline deficient no. or Depo, Provera deficient no. or Yasmin? There's no so such there's thing. There's a lot of things they have to look for. So how do we prevent them? Obviously, we change our medications. What, what types of things do we so take, So you doctor? ask your doctor, I want to look at real uh, chemicals, look at my progesterone levels, look at my estrogen levels, look at my DHEA levels, look at, you know, adrenal function. The adrenal, sometimes that's the first thing when you're going through menopause, your adrenal glands start to slow down. Mm -hmm. And then that starts a, starts a domino effect of different things happening, happening systemically. Mm -hmm. So I tell women, you know, take supplements like vitamin B6, or adaptogens that help reboot the metabolism, that adrenal gland. And when a woman's adrenal glands are slowing down, the weight starts to get put on. And yep. it's everywhere where we don't want it, in our hips, in our underarms, yep. behind our thighs, the dimply tush. It's like, no woman wants that. Telltale <laughs> sign that you're going into menopause. Right. But what's the sure saying the android 
the, pause. the andro pause. Okay, andro -pause. yes, ladies. It's not just men, you know, women going through it. Men go through what's called andro pause. And andro pause is the female, the male version of menopause. So their androgens come to a pause. Oh so testosterone becomes really low. And then you see men, they, they as they're getting older, they're less broad-shouldered, sure. and you see them starts to slouch, and eventually their heads down, you know, below their knees. By the time they get up to, you know, become 80-year-old men, they look like skinny, you know, toothpicks, and they yeah. have no muscle. Yeah. You give a man a shot of testosterone, their muscle comes back, their libido comes back, and then it gets rid of their hot mm -hmm. flashes too. Okay. So hot flashes, men suffer from hot flashes. So you brought some products. Are these just for women here, or are these men and men women? and women? Okay. Now this is one that I personally take. Um, this is called Progest. I do a 10% cream, and so when the lab work comes back, Nancy, this is what women need for progesterone. Progesterone is like the female volume, a natural volume. So it gets rid of your anxiety, your nervousness, helps you sleep. You could apply it on your face and it gets rid of wrinkles. So not only is it getting rid of your hot flashes, it's, it's making you younger and it's protecting you from getting cancer. Awesome. And for men, you're typically not worried about getting breast cancer, but they're worried about getting prostate cancer. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So if they're having hot flashes, chances are they're deficient they in progesterone, and that's that's a prescriptive okay. one, and it's inexpensive. DHEA spray. DHEA is a hormone. This one's an over-the-counter one that you can spray in your mouth. It's a precursor to testosterone. So men. If they come, you know, deficient in uh, testosterone, they could just take a couple sprays of that. And women, too, and it helps them with their libido. Right. And finally, what's this one? The Adrenal Pro. So that helps them with the stress hormone. So once they start gaining that weight or they're having hot flashes, they take this Adrenal Pro and it gets rid of this Buddha belly. Okay. Guys, I no one wants a Buddha belly. Okay. <laughs> All right. Things to look out for and things to get on my list. Um. <laughs> <laughs> I have it. I'll come see you. A every trip that I go on, you know, this is, this is like Bring my to go. Oh, absolutely. And okay. if I don't take it, I'm like, where'd this little pooch come oh. from? <laughs> it's like, well, oh, my you. hormones. Thank you for being here today. And <laughs> thank we'll you for having see me. See you next week. Sounds good. <laughs> Esther Holt with Star Financial joins us after the break. We'll be right back.